Oh God! Oh, those are the all oh, those cameras. Ugh, it's nude and the fucking press everywhere. Why? Because there was a this lady named Brenda out of nowhere. You know, she's coming out and saying stuff and spreading some misinformation and some really shady dealings of the LAPD. Oh, you know, whistleblower, tell all, all that, whatever. Uh huh. Except when they're using them. So now, the LAPD has cast a negative light yet again. Great! It's gonna make our job a little bit harder. Oh, hey, it's the balcony we didn't know existed. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Hello, Lieutenant. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago, if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll mm -hmm. All right. Uh, where, where's the squad room? Oh. Roy knows the way. But he doesn't know the way because he's a white supremacist, so fuck off, loser. Ooh, you got a mustache for days. I, what is your secret? <laughs> he's secretly the one supplying all the morphine. He makes it at home. Hey, what's up, Harry Caldwell? You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys work in the wharves, or some of the guys on the ship. So, some of the marines may have taken the... the morphine? The morphine? Which Ooh. makes sense, because Courtney Sheldon was one of those guys as well. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, hi, the manifest! Oh, it's our destiny! So let's take so, a look. How do we connect the docks, Wow. Uh, uh, gold oh, drag. please let our name be on here. here. Please let our name be on here. Oh, we got it. Huh. Is our back room arsenal from the 111 club. Those are the two guns that are gone. Enough to arm three companies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> up and down. Up and down. <laughs> And then the morphine Woo. down there. Woo. Come on, Woo. Phelps. Half a million surrets loose on the streets of L.A. Jesus. Some of these guys are from That's a lot. 500,000 morphine surrets. That's killing people. The fuck? McGoldrick was Damn. On the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Hmm. <laughs> oh no! GPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 what? North Bronze. Oh shit! Active shooting in process. Let's get the fuck down there. Let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Really we need it. to hurry up down there. We need to get there as fast as we can. Actually, you know, I, I can take my time. You know, there's a whole bunch of cops in LA. I'm pretty yeah, sure I mean, that they can uh, get there. Uh, there's you know, even a time. no running sign in the police station, so I guess yeah. we're gonna just take our leisurely time. You know. Yeah, you know, the, the music can get all tense and all that, but, you know, that's not going to stop me from enjoying my walk. You know, I need I need to mm -hmm. think about some things, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm still kind of recovering from the morphine uh, from the last episode, so, you know. Okay. Let's take our leisurely time, and, uh, you know, the developers really wanted you to run out of this building so you wouldn't see all the extra loading it would have to do. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, head to the bus shooting. And, uh, again, we need to hurry as fast as we can to get down there. I love that bus shooting is now an L.A. landmark. You all keep telling me to drive safely, so here I am, driving safely. I don't want to cause any sort of damage to anything. Hey, that guy's going I, way too fast. I think, like, one person told you to drive safely. Well, and, I'm listening I, to that one person, then. And I think that was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Grandma! It's the big one on the right! You know, uh... A few years ago, I read an article in a newspaper 
that was kind of like a flashback to, you know, an article from, like, 1930s or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was saying how reckless drivers are being on the road because they're going way too fast at 12 miles an hour when the speed limit clearly says 8. Oh. Oh, my. Uh, and now people go white-knuckling down Florida highways at 90 miles an hour. Excuse me. All right, maybe we should speed up a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. No, I forgot oh, that God. you can't go through fences. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> oh, now you're stuck on a clothesline. <laughs> stuck between a tree and a clothesline. See, God. Look, look what happens when you drive <laughs> recklessly. You get caught no on laundry. That. I've learned it, Phelps. Now please drive like a normal LA driver. Okay. Everyone's gonna <laughs> die then. <laughs> Look out, everybody! Gold Phelps is behind the wheel again. <laughs> LA's Golden Boy is tearing up the streets. I really think it'd be funny if that time you were driving slowly, Roy had his hand on the wheel along with Phelps. He's just like, give me the, give me the fucking steering wheel, Phelps. I'm not, <laughs> oh, I'm not letting you drive anymore. Huh. So, uh, I'm glad that everyone's got a handle the situation. You know, by the time we get there, I think that, you know, the situation will be handled and updated. They're still firing! What have you guys been doing the whole time? Good thing that guy has a sense of fair play. You know, I got an inkling that those guns were the two that were taken from the 111 Club. So it's time for Terminator Cold Phelps to- oh, wait, shit. Oh, well, yeah, it's an automatic weapon, and you're a squishy human being. I don't think you're gonna- you're gonna make it. Okay, we'll try again. Maybe this will turn out to be the Spider-Man villain Hammerhead. Alright, so here we go. Try again, and we- whoop, what? Almost die. Hang on. A little nice. bit recover. He's yep. reloading, and then we just... I shot him in the head! Bullsh- Oh, come on! Oh, he is Hammerhead! Okay, I you're shot him in the do a different fucking tactic. brain! Jeez. Alright, try this again. Wait carefully, and- Oh, Ow. for fuck's sake! Alright, well, since we're in it for the long haul, I'm just gonna take a lovely drink of water. <sighs> I'm doing something wrong here. He should not be able to kill me this quickly. Automatic special weaponry or not. Ow, ow, ow. Jeez, look at this. Run it. Run it up. How did he shoot me? He was in the middle of his reloading animation. They need you to get closer. I bet you anything. Oh, guess I'll just wait here then. He's got to run out of ammo at some point. He's got gotcha. you. Does he? Does he really? I guess he's not really showing it here, but apparently he's got gotcha. you. How many fucking gunshots it take to take this guy down? Oh, three or four. Yeah, three or four for me. Three or four hundred for him. I don't think he's dying. Oh, well, I don't think so either. I think I gotta move forward. Well, I'll move forward next time, but. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lovely, like. Midair twist you had there. Yeah, that's an eight from the Russian judge. Damn, commie! <laughs> Shut up, Roy. All right, so are you? Are you kidding? It is a good thing I wore my protective headgear today. Otherwise, you... I think the officers might have shot you, me. You gotta! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, choose a different You've tactic. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, choose a different tactic. Well, apparently they took some adamantium as well with the fucking rifles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, choose a different tactic. Oh, <laughs> Stop shooting the invincible man! Stop! <laughs> I, I don't think you do, Roy. I just got Roy's this. Roy's got you. <laughs> 
Find a ladder. You know, t t I, I know what I'm beat. Like, th that guy is a, is a public menace. Fucking I invincible is what he is. I'm fucking, right, I'm fucking out of here. I'm, I'm saving my own skin. <laughs> you guys are absolutely crazy if you think I'm going to stay here and, you know, d deal, with the, deal with that bullshit. That's crazy. Or how do I get out of here? I need, I need to escape. I'm running for my <laughs> life. Maybe you are fighting a Terminator. I probably am. I'm out of here. I mean, Later, I mean everybody Roy. in the bus has already said their, like, goodbyes to all their fa Oh, wait, hey, look, it's a ladder. I guess I'll try the ladder. You know, be brave, I guess. You're covered, Phelps. You're covered, Phelps. Get up there. I'm covered under the safety no, of a no, big get, building. Get, get up there. Get, yes. Okay. Okay, we're, we're making it up there. That, that he's, he's lagging a bit. Uh, uh, Come uh, on, Phelps. Move, I got you. It's the morphine. LAPD, drop the gun now. He'll never find me here. Yay! Yeah, oh, that wasn't him. All right. I mean, they're built the same way. All right. So, after all the bullets it took to kill him, nope, whoops, 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 excuse me. Yeah. I'll, I'll just get out of your way. Two. Two. Oh, I mean, you softened him up a bit. Of course, that must be it. Man! Come on! So, after all that, why was a gangster spraying a public bus in broad daylight? Roy, you jump like an Irishman. Where were you on that? You're good, Phelps! Let's take a look at this guy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> he looks quite stern. Mmm, I got shot. Mm. It's like, mmm, that hurts a little. Mmm-hmm. Oh, just imagine if you were alive when rigor mortis set in. <laughs> I gotta put him in a compromising position, you know, put his hand down his pants, you know, put a little middle finger on there. Ooh, it's a hit. It was a hit? A hit. A hit, a hit, a hit. Hmm. And yeah, looking at the gun. Oh, look at uh, that. Ah, yeah. Automatic. I was right. It was one of the guns that was in the 111 Club. It's one of the BARs. Well, that's not good. No, it isn't. Hmm. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I want to get a message. He might have been the subject hey, of the hit. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the judge? Go stand over there. That's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus, and then cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. Tell likes of Gabuchi Roy, Roy please. Years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Uh, let's uh, see if we can get out of him. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. You're lying. You didn't hear shit. Not much. <laughs> uh, You're deaf. How did you hear it? Interview with me and all the other guys on the ship. Mexican people don't hear things. I was down at the 111. Oh, Roy, the shut up. To scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? Yeah, brains. That's the thing that's in your head, right? Too bad he didn't keep a I know brain good. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Yeah, yeah that was going to be my response. The dead guy <laughs> yeah. on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. He is hmm. actually lying. Yeah. Looking at the pocketbook. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. <gasps> Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon? The newspaper know? stories and the main game are now Inside. starting to come together. In LA? I saw his name on the map. Been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, 
detective? <laughs> Pretty cool customer. Well, Roy, you uh, you kept your cool there. I'm impressed. Not really. Go die. Later. See ya. Oh wait, I need to use a phone. We just, uh, just drive go through ahead. the baseball field. You know, let's just uh, go back here. Make sure you can't catch up. Let's see. Where's the phone? You know what? No! I just wanted to do that. That felt so good. So fucking good, you racist piece of shit. <laughs> oh, Roy just thinks differently than you. Fuck you. So what, did someone disagree with, with you and you run him over? Uh, uh, I just I just had a funny thought, and uh, I'll tell you after the episode. Oh, no, you can tell me right now. I can just cut it out if it's too bad. Uh, okay, I'm I'm just thinking the the entire time you were running Roy over, he, I could just hear him going... <laughs> cut that out. And it just, it just slows down. It just goes... <laughs> 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 and that's a joke nobody's going to hear. Nope. I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Click. Jack Kelso. I have information on a Jack Kelso. Oh. North El Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks, for your help. Thanks, Siri. Hello, detective. How can I help you? Bus. 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 Can I? Bus. It's in service. I want to get it. Where can I get it? Bus. God damn Felix, this I'm game! Steal your bus. Uh, 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 so how you doing, buddy? L.A. Right? Fucking crazy. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And look at that, an ad. Press for Y to stand look up. Look at that, an ad for the Blue Room Jazz Club. It's all over the oh, place. Oh god, here comes Buzz Kill McRacist face over here. Uh, no, no, uh, no! Don't sit down. No. Uh, smells like <sighs> cheap brandy. Ugh. Welcome to ABC's new sitcom, Two Guys and a Racist, coming soon. Two and a half men, Roy's the half man. <laughs> hey, an ambulance! Ambulance! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> we're gonna run, I didn't think we're gonna run I didn't so think many people over! This. It's gonna be ironic! Oh god! No! Irony! <laughs> I don't like irony! No! We've in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. There's something wrong with the siren. <laughs> Tough customer. It's dying, just like all the people you're going to hit. <laughs> Make it a little remix. Oh, yeah. That guy's got whiplash. Yeah, I think we're giving up on dispatch calls. This episode's long enough as it is. Mm hmm. This case, at least. No, oh, please don't hit too many people. I'm having more fun with the siren, really. But! Oh! Right broken ribs and back! Oh. Get that man to a hospital. <laughs> but don't take my car. <laughs> Hello, Jack. This is Detective so this Carol. is Jack Hello, Kelso. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Well, I don't know why the fucking game isn't about him. Do, you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. <laughs> <laughs> going down the highway! I was just thinking they're all a bunch of friends! ...my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you! Yes, keep telling Cole fuck you. I just need to hear it. So it's still a little bit of interview on this Jack Kelso fellow. Yeah. The guy who should have been the protagonist for this game. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. So it's escalated to a gang war. You're lying. Jack, you know about the morphine. You weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. Bullshit. 
Look at my evidence like that I don't have. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm going to draw a little paper that says you know, so I'm going to present that as evidence. Look, I took all this time to draw your face. You could at least tell me the truth. you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Sure. Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. You better watch your dick, because it's going to get kicked. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Liar! Quit lying to me, Jack. Jack, you know what's going come on. on. You know about the morphine. Jack! Please. Jack! He is a lying maniac! Looks like I was mistaken. Yeah, he's pretty airtight. We, we, we can... Didn't know Actually, that, that was the truth. Blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. Hmm. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah? You're not a Jack. <laughs> that I look that Cole guys. gave him. He's mm. like, for real? If you believe oh, seriously? I don't... I don't, mm -mm. Or the more I don't think, that think that so, man. I suggest you produce some evidence. Okay, I will just back out and just accuse you of lying some more. Uh, yeah, as, as soon as I find some evidence, I'll be sure to give so, it to but you. But he's truthing oh, again. Good. He's a truther? Oh, yeah. A little pale. Oh my. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus. And he put about 70 more into our guys. <laughs> about 80 into Specifically, me. all into Cole, yeah. People have to die. Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Hey, no. hey. Actually, I get a cupcake the next day if I do good, so that's what's in what it for me. About the Army I want to do goo for that cupcake. <laughs> what I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. Ooh. I don't know anything about the robbery. Ooh. But. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I ain't calling uh, you I a have. toward to use that. To back that up. <laughs> I I'm just saying, man, longer. I've I've tried to call you out on every single thing. I, it's gotta be this one. Okay, never mind. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Stop shaking trees, you're gonna hit a beehive at some point. Because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude yeah, but you're not gonna get four, you're gonna get eight because you're fucking stupid. Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when I'm really liking this case. It's all coming together. Jack, you just want information. Bullshit, Cole. <laughs> Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit? Yeah! Chump. With this $200 suit and $2,000. Yeah! Oh, Jack, Jack, Jack! Impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Well, keep an eye off my ass. Suit like that, I'm pretty sure you swing that way. Another shooting! Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? Man, Jesus. What's all the freaking shooting's going on?